keeps you rediscovering. Hallelujah. Until, until you become, you know, formalized and crystallized, until you feel you're perfected. But this is the thing with God. Anytime you feel you've got it, what, what does God do? He tops it. Yeah, you know, Stephen and I were laughing about this. We go, man, this is the best message ever. I think I got it. I understand. I mastered it. Then the next message is like, oh God. He just blew that out of the water. The next revelation just blows what? Your mind. The next revelation shows you like, I'm a babe. All the books could not be written about all your wisdom. You see what I mean? In other words, we just become eternal what? Learners. This is why you never finish one in five. You're always learning. <laughs> because God's omnipotent. There's always more to discover through him, and therefore through you. You're always reinventing yourself. Recre you're recreated in Christ. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you can never get to crystallization because God is always better showing you new levels. Amen. New levels, new levels, new levels. In fact, you live with him for all eternity because through all eternity, that will take you how long to get to know him and who you are, discover your full self, and, and, and crystallize your full what? Self. Amen? Amen. He's always doing a new thing. Thank God. Hallelujah. Just when I think I'm getting, you know, bored, or just when I think I'm getting good at something, he what? Throws you something else, or asks you to master something else, or shows you it in a deeper way. Hallelujah. This is why that process is true. The principles are true. That is wisdom. But the true way to work those five stages of revelation, inspiration, commitment, formalization, crystallization is with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You know, you think I get bored teaching the same word of God all the time. I don't. I'm always seeing new things. I'm always feeling re-inspired. I'm always childlike. Why am I always childlike? Lowly, loving, forgiving, and trusting. Because I don't know. He's always showing me new things. Anytime you think you know it, then you're, you're out of God. You're out of God. This is when Satan wants you to fossilize, you know. This is, he's always trying to depress you. Like, you're in the inspiration phase. You're like, yeah, everyone can do that. Yeah, you're not special. You're like, you're right. You'll never commit. You know? He's always trying to stop you from moving what? Through and re-loop it. Yeah. Re-loop it. Many of us, we don't like the commitment phase. Because sometimes you lose what? Inspiration. But it's only for a time. Because once you show you're committed, God will what? Re-inspire you. He just wants to make sure you, you have that face set in your heart so you don't stall so you are committed to becoming the professional that you're we are married to God. You know, Christ said, uh, you know, I want you to treat husbands, you are to treat your wives as Christ treats his mm. church. Yes. So Christ is our husband, the church is the wife. Amen. And just like a marriage can get crystallized and fossilized, so too we ha you have to what? Renew your relationship. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. It, and what stops us is sanctification. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, a, there's a part of us that likes to stay dirty so we don't enjoy the new level of what? Growth. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's like, I remember Chuck and um, Jessica was telling me that. I think it's every month they go on a date. Right. Am, am I right? You try to. Yeah, yeah you try to. Uh, yeah. Our anniversary change. Your anniversary, like once a month. I, I think that's wonderful. You know? In other words, they schedule a time to rekindle the romance. What's communion? You rekindle a time. It's like, Lord, I, I need a fresh revelation. I, I, I'm waiting at the doors. I'm, I'm looking for some inspiration. And those who trust in the Lord, they will what? Never be disappointed. When you wait at the gates of wisdom, you always have something good to whisper to. You're like, woo! Thank you, Jesus. It keeps you moving. It keeps you moving. Hallelujah. We can't get bored. The Lord is moving us into finance. The Lord is moving us into real estate. The Lord is moving us into warfare. Amen. The Lord is moving us into healing. Amen. And the Lord is always moving us through what? Wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we have. Give him a good one. of wisdom today. Amen? Amen. For God to re-inspire, re-thrill you, rekindle mm. your love and your romance with Him. Amen.